my friend here, can I ask you something sensible? Let's see if you're gonna... Right, okay, this is my little girl. You know, I was telling you about my little girl before. This is my little girl, Lois, okay? She's a baby. And this is a robot. Which do you think's better designed? The baby or the robot? The ugly. You think my baby's ugly? Okay. Right, all right. We're, we're, okay, well, you could say that. She's, you could say you're entitled to your opinion, but what's more, in, what's more advanced? The robot or the baby? Now, I'm wondering if you can solve my problem, okay? In my hand here, I have got a robot, okay? I'm not, not a real robot, a picture of a robot. And this robot is called Rex the Robot. Now, I know at the moment, AI is a massive thing and we've got AI robots. There's a lot of robots around. I don't know if you've been to, um, you know, the airport recently. You go to the airport and instead of having waiters now, we've got robots serving us. You know, it's literally like iRobot is, is coming true. But can I tell you a little, I want you to solve my problem now. If you're an atheist particularly, if you're a skeptic, you solve this problem for me. Now, Rex the Robot was made by lots of brilliant minds. His uh, ear was made at the University of Sydney. His eye was made at the University of California. His heart was made in Arizona. His hands were made in Glasgow. His kidney was made in California again. Uh, his pancreas was uh, nearer to home in Leicester, okay? So you've got all of these different parts that were made from all of these brilliant minds in universities, okay? So here's Rex, he's very, very highly designed. So now answer this question for me. Which robot or which do you think is more better designed? This guy or the baby? The baby, do you know whose baby that is? It's my baby, that's baby Lois, yeah. So why'd you say that? Sorry, uh, to, the, to the girl <laughs> over there, why do you think that that one's more designed? Why is that more designed than that one? It's human, you know, she can talk, but this one has to be wired up. Now, here's my question. If you don't believe in God, here's my big question, okay? Are you ready for it? Why is it we believe that this robot has to have all these minds from all these universities to make it, and yet this little baby here had no mind? Over to you. If you're an atheist, you answer that. So if all of these minds had to make this robot, why is it we believe that this little baby had no mind? Because if you believe there is no God, if you believe that this world just came from some cosmic explosion many, many years ago, billions of years ago, well, that's the, the logical conclusion. How many people are there in the world now? Can you answer that question? Eight billion, you're right. So if we've got eight billion minds, eight billion thinking minds, some very intelligent minds, how is it we believe that eight billion minds came from no minds? Big question, Mr. Atheist. 8 billion minds, how did 8 billion minds come from no mind? Everything we see around us has design. This pavement was laid by builders, that building there had a builder, painting to have a painting. So why is it we believe your brain, your eyes, children, the sun, the moon, the stars, giraffes, all of this creation didn't have a creator? It's a good question, isn't it? It is a good question, here's another one, okay? You've got a conscious mind, right or wrong? Is your mind conscious right now? It is, your mind's conscious, you're walking around. So how do you believe that your conscious mind came from the unconscious? And that's what I'm trying to say to you today. Listen, you've got a thinking mind. Whatever you think about God, he thinks the world of you. Is all you have to do is look at the cross. Look at how he died there, the most agonizing death. He hung there like a puppet on strings, bleeding there, dying there. You know, no glory there, dying in front of his own mother. There's many ways we might like to die. Maybe you'd like to die in your sleep. Maybe you'd like to die a very, very old man of old age. But I would not like to die crucified to a cross. And yet that's what Jesus did because your sin put him on that cross. And he knew someone had to pay your fine, had to pay the price for your sins. And Jesus Christ paid that debt with his very blood. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. And Jesus Christ shed his blood so that you could be forgiven. Guys, please consider these things. God bless you all. There is a God, he made you, he loves you, and he wants friendship with you, and he wants to save you. Please consider these things.